倒れるわけにはそれスローアドレーションミリアムは、ファイブスター・ウィン・ウォンドユニット、は、実は、ヒューマンモデルのブランヘルダのヒューマンフォーム。彼女は、ファイブスター・ブランヘルダのブランヘルダのブランヘルダのヒューマンフォーム、そして、ヒューマンフォーム、ミリアム、そして、ヒューマンフォーム、ミリアム、ミリアム、ミリアム、ミリアム、ミリアム。As a unit, she is a dedicated supporter, with a brand new strength amping mechanic, and also an evasion mechanic, that was first introduced with Faris. Let's see how the new mechanics work on Miriam, and how does these mechanics affect her playstyle and the team. I'll explain the strength amp mechanism here. Strength Amp is basically a strength buff that has a tiering system, with each casting of Strength Amp upgrading the present Strength Amp level. Strength Amp starts with Self Amp that only buffs the user. When Self Strength Amp is at level 2 prior to activation of another Strength Amp, the Self Strength Amp is upgraded to Team Strength Amp level 1. To upgrade to Team Strength Amp level 2, the skill needs to be cast 3 more times. The maximum level of team strength amp for a team is dependent on the units that has the highest limit on the amp level. When the maximum level of team strength amp is achieved, repeated casting of strength amp will only extend its duration, with the duration extension dependent on the highest limit on team strength amp level on the team. Strength amp provides the following effects. The highlight of Strength Amp is its ignorance towards Curse of Nihility, a debuff that removes all buffs on the entire team and prevents buffs from being casted on the team. This allows continuous strength boosts in spite of the Curse of Nihility in the New Dominion stages. Other important notes on Strength Amp include it is not affected by buff time and does not trigger double buffs, with the latter statement hinting a future unit with Defense Amp. Her first skill, Adoring Blow, showcases a Strength Amp mechanic. It grants the user a Strength Amp and has a maximum team Strength Amp level of 2. When her maximum team Strength Amp level isn't the highest on the team, she has a base extension time of 15 seconds when she activates this skill. With a cost of 3392 SP, the cost is decent, considering Strength Amp's longer duration than normal buffs before expiring. Even so, skill haste will definitely help in significantly enhancing this skill. Overall, this skill is good, and as her main supportive skill, it gets the job done well. Her second skill, Blast of Emotion, deals 3795% damage, draws enemies together, and restores HP to herself and nearby allies with 60% potency. This is a multi purpose skill, with damage dealing. Crowd control and healing. With a cost of 7500 SP, it isn't too expensive considering what this skill can do. Overall, this is a Swiss Army knife of skills, with a cost that isn't too overwhelming for what it offers. Her co abilities consist of the typical skill damage and yet another variant of the negligible water resist buff, with team strength amp as its requirement. For her abilities, she has two that are centered around her team strength amp. The first one is reflexive evasion, which is basically an automatic dodge of red attacks. In her case, she has a 30% chance to dodge automatically when there is a team strength amp. This is good in late battles, when there is definitely team strength amp, and when the attack patterns of bosses get fast to the point of you may not be able to keep up and dodge when necessary. Even so, this isn't a really useful ability in my opinion, when you can actively keep up and dodge attacks when necessary. Her second team strength amp centered ability is a skill haste, which gets a 10% boost when team strength amp is present. 
This is very good in long battles, as it makes maintaining team strength amp levels a lot easier. She is immune to freeze, which may not make her particularly useful in high mercury battles, but it doesn't really matter in CLA stages whatsoever. Miriam, being the first unit with strength amping capabilities, and also having good damage dealing and healing capabilities, is definitely flexible when it comes to her kit. But, she is a support unit through and through, with skill haste being the most suitable ability for her to have, alongside healing and damage boosting abilities, to enhance her second skill. For her dragon, I would go with Ariel, as she has skill haste, and can boost Miriam's offense. Freer is my second choice, sacrificing some damage with additional HP. For more offensive options I would choose Reborn Zephyr, or his original form, if only it is available. For her weapon, Camelot is the best for her, with no explanation needed other than being a Jitto. The Grand Tempest is her second choice, and I would not recommend the Chimera Tech weapons as the High Dragon Trials are relatively easy to beat in today's standards. For her Wimprints, these are what I would personally equip on her. Miriam is an impressive unit on paper, and is certainly a unit highly necessary in the near future, during the release of Water Attune Dominion stages, and also the release of Poseidon's Trial. The immunity towards Curse of Nihility of her Strength Amp makes her one of the only viable buffers in these stages. However, as of now, not many stages of Curse of Nihility. In that case, outside of these stages, there are quite a number of better buffers out there, such as Tobias and Noel. Her second skill though, deals good damage, and can heal decently well with team strength amp present. A good skill indeed. Overall, she is a great support unit in stages with Curse of Nihility, and a decent support unit elsewhere. Now go out there, and assist Alberius in the fight against the other. That's all from me. Moga out.